30 years ago, I adopted, as I told you earlier, my son Andrew from a horrendous orphanage in Romania, starving to death, his stomach swollen like a child from Somalia. And um, we took him into our lives and, and he, his, his, his world changed, as you can imagine. And now, as I said, he's part, partner with me in the ministry, my other son, my oldest son, Philip. And um, we, we are such a blessed family. God has been so kind and gracious to us. But out of adopting Andrew, I got a passion for orphans. And I kept going back and I, the orphanage where he came from, the roof leaked, they had no toilets. They sat on coffee cans. All the baby's bottoms were cut with the rim of the coffee can. They had no flush toilets. Their beds were painted with lead paint. It was, a, it, was, it was a zoo. The smell of it was unbelievable. When I first walked in there, the, the smell of ammonia burned my, my eyes and my nose. It was horrendous. And I found this wee fella, half naked, in a bed. And I picked him up, and the Lord spoke to me, and he said, This is your son. And I, I said, I, don't, I know you don't know what I'm saying, but I'm never going to leave you, and I'll never let you stay in this place. Whatever it takes, I'm going to come and adopt you. And uh, that was in January, and in October we adopted him. And it's, an, it's in this book. I didn't mean it's, it, you, you've got to get this book. It's called Our Bummer Lamb. You can, they'll tell you how to get it. Um, you can, you can um, order it from our ministry. It is the most amazing story, the most crazy miracles that you've ever imagined happened when I adopted Andrew. You talk about the hand of God. <laughs> That's, now here's my Calvinistic side coming out. It was the hand of God all the way through it. And um, you can order this book today, ourbummerlamb.com, our, our bummer lamb. A bummer lamb is a lamb that has been abandoned by its mother. And if the farmer doesn't get the lamb, the, the lamb will die. The mother will butt it and kick it. So it won't feed, it'll starve to death. And um, we found a bummer lamb in an orphanage in Romania with no idea that he was the first bummer lamb we would meet, but he wouldn't be the last. And um, for the last 30 years, our family has stretched every sinew we have. I don't have days off. All I think about is how we can reach more kids. And uh, 20 years ago, I was sent by my father to Moldova because he'd, he'd heard of this orphanage called the Dying Rooms of Moldova. And I walked into this place in Hinchest, and the director said, have you ever seen a baby freeze to death? And my stomach turned, and I said, no, sir, I have not. He says, well, this year so far, 16 of our babies, of our kids have frozen to death. And my life completely changed. I lost all sense. I, I was in America. I was on TV all the time, preaching messages, sing, selling um, uh, record albums. And one book that I'd written in Household Salvation, it sold 300,000 copies. I was set, I was 37, and every dream I've ever, I'd ever had was checked off until I saw these kids, and it messed with me for the rest of my life, and my wife and my, all my kids are addicted to caring and loving and raising kids that other folk aren't interested in to become great men and women of God.